Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome and welcome to another Christmas edition. Well, this is my very first 2021 Christmas special edition. Um, I wanted to do this last year, but I didn't have the time and I didn't have enough content. I didn't schedule it well enough. So I planned it the way I had this year and I'm making it happening. I'm so, so, so happy. So if you watch my channel, you know, I do a regular upload on Monday. So what we're going to do in the months of December this year, we're going to still do Monday uploads. Every week it's going to be a sunscreen related videos and it's going to be one of those round up videos. Like today we're talking about the top five categories, including the products I mentioned and I recommend. And next week we could be talking about um, my whole sunscreen collection, etc, etc. So every Monday uploads, you're going to see a sunscreen review videos. And every Friday, you're going to see everything else. My skincare reviews, my recommending best of Australian skincare. I like doing them and I had one last year as well. I'm also going to add in Wednesdays where I have the time. I'll do the advert calendar unboxing for you guys to watch and enjoy during the month of December or save it for the upcoming holiday whenever you have a break. You can scroll back to this and enjoy some of the videos. All right, without further ado, let's just dive into today's ones. And if you like this content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribe down below so you don't miss out the upcoming very frequent upload. <laughs> So for today's video, we're going to talk about the best of the best sunscreen in Australia for 2021 and then I have subcategory into five different departments. There are the best tinted, the best non-tinted mineral, the best chemical, the best for the kids and the best for the body. Let's talk about something that you guys probably already know, which is the best chemical sunscreen. There's no doubt it's gonna go for the Cancer Console sunscreen. It's the Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizer Matte Invisible SPF 50 Plus. I have mentioned this multiple times throughout pretty much all of my sunscreen videos if you ever watched it. Um, it's a really, really good matte finishing sunscreen, so lightweighted on the face. You just feel like nothing. Pretty good base for the makeup as well, or if you can just wear it by yourself. I've also seen other Australian YouTubers really loving this and their homies really loving it as well. So it's actually a quite versatile product that suits for a lot of um, people. However, if you have really, really dry and sensitive skin, I've also seen feedback saying it's a little bit too much for them to cope with. But for general population, I think it's super good and it's such a bargain price. If you get it at a half price sale, less than $10, you'll get 75 mils. They even got a bigger bottle if you want to cover the entire body or use it across the family. So it's just an absolutely got to mention product here. We just mentioned a chemical sunscreen. Now let's talk about the best mineral sunscreen. If we talk about mineral sunscreen, automatically we're going to subcategorize into tinted and non-tinted version because a lot of the mineral sunscreen come with that white cast and they use the tint to counteract that. The best non-tinted mineral sunscreen is also coming from the Cancer Console. I have to say for this particular category, without tint, pure mineral, able to find in Australia, I didn't have a lot of option for me to choose. So it was fairly easy, but I can also see myself really wanting to update on this in the next upcoming year, see if there's any good ones that I can replace it even better than this. I've got the Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizer matte zinc lotion here. This one is also SPF 50 and it contains 27% zinc oxide. It's got a high concentration and this feels very lightweight and there's no white cast whatsoever. Maybe a little bit brightening effect but compared to everything that I've got in my hands, this is hands down the best that I can found so far. It's a little bit more expensive and it's a little bit less compared to their regular packaging. This one only comes in 50 mil. Personally, if I'm not looking for a particular active ingredient, Gradient, just sunscreen in general. I prefer the pink one, but if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen has no tint, I definitely recommend this. And I think this is working super well considering all the criteria that when you're narrowing down from my huge sunscreen collection. The one with the tint, however, though, I have to say it's a very, very surprise founding, and I've been mentioning multiple times for different purposes, and it all seems to be working super well. This is the new day skin. Uh, SPF 50 daily face cream. They've got two packagings. One is called Good Vibes, the other one's called Happy Days. They have the same active ingredient but comes with a different scent. Uh, Good Vibes got fresh apple, 
um, Happy Days Got Creamy Vanilla. I don't have a personal preference about the scent. I found these two are really, really good on a daily basis when you want to do a no makeup makeup, you want to apply something, but you don't want to go for an extra step looking for like a BB cream or a cushion or a light, healthy glow foundation when you just want to narrow that steps, one less thing to worry about to something you can put on your face, not having a huge coverage, but you definitely see your face healthy, nicely glowed, and it doesn't give you a huge tank that you wouldn't worry if if you are more pale skin, if you are more darker skin, would it not match well with the rest of your body? I think it matches perfectly for a huge range of skin color. You literally just don't have to worry a lot when you wear this. Just like moisturizer on the face. I really wanting to repurchase this over the Polar's Choice. I know it doesn't have a higher like concealing property compared to the Polo's Choice one, but just that breathable feeling that you just lather it on like how you apply moisturizer. The only thing that I would say, not as a complaint, it's just hard to purchase this. You have to go their online website and I think you have to purchase like three bottles to get a free shipping, which is another bummer. This product itself is really, really good. Speaking of tinted sunscreen, if you're not looking for like a mineral one in particular, I did try one over the last 12 months that I super super surprised it almost replaced my cancer console sunscreen, which is this Hamilton one, everyday face SPF 50 plus, very high protection sunscreen. This is also a matte invisible finish with a invisible coverage. This is one of the coverage that Similar to the New Day skin, it feels like you apply nothing, it's still your skin, but somehow it just looked healthier. I really, really enjoyed this one as well, and I reckon this is more runnier than the Cancer Console one, and it's a little bit more moisturizing compared to the Cancer Console. So if you do have a dry skin and you don't mind that teeny tiny bit of tint, this is a good one to go for. And I like how it have a really light tint. You don't have to worry, it doesn't match your skin tone because most likely it's gonna be suitable for a range of skin rather than the invisible zinc one that I didn't include in this year's recommendation because the color, they have light, they have medium. It actually really limited the number of skin tone it suits. Even me using the light one, I reckon I can use a fair shade if they do have it, but unfortunately they don't. So I think for tinted sunscreens, these two are the ones I really recommend. Let's move on to the next category. Once we can cover all around the face, we need to look for the body. So the body sunscreen that I recommend, obviously all the ones I just mentioned, they're suitable to be used on the body as well. But if you're just going for a one that's super affordable, and when I think about body sunscreen, I want that moisturization level up as well, because I just want to protect do two in one if possible. And I do have one that I so, so, so enjoyed. This is coming from the Dermavine Daily Nourish Body Moisturizer SPF 50 Plus. This is a super bug and super great found that I think it's one of my best thing found in 2021. Dermavine, as the name suggested and as the logo shows here, it contains a lot of their technology oatmeal, which it moisturizes and protects and nourish the skin, especially if you have really, really dry skin, but it's a really good body moisturizer in general for all skin types. And they also add SPF 50 plus, and this is passing the Australian regulation because we can see the auth label here. So it's a proper sunscreen, it's a proper body lotion, two in one, it's a proper body sunscreen. This bottle comes within 200 grams, and I believe this one is under $20 when I did the purchase. So super, super affordable and just feels so lightweight yet super moisturizing. For body lotion without the sunscreen, one of the big complaints is it feels lightweight and it feels like you apply nothing. It feels so heavy that it stick onto the sheets, onto your clothes. It feels like greasy, clock all the hairs and the pores around the body. This doesn't, this just feel like so good yet so moisturizing and plus it's got SPF, SPF 50 plus. So I absolutely have no complaint except it's a chemical sunscreen. I know it could be a thing for certain um, people that are looking for pure mineral sunscreens. I haven't found any mineral sunscreen that's suitable for the body and gives a good hydration and is so lightweight, breathable. I think it's just really tricky to achieve it. I remember Banana Boat used to be one of my favorite, but now I've got Dermavine. I love this one more. And the last but not the least category is something that I tested out 
this year for a video which I just uploaded very recently. It's for babies. For children, the skin is a little bit different to us. They're more delicate, and that is why a lot of the chemical sunscreen moms or adults are trying to avoid because they want to get a one sunscreen for the entire family. Not even mention babies haven't been testing out a lot of these chemicals, so you don't know if they're allergic to certain things. So you want to minimize the ingredients as much as possible, and whatever is in the ingredient is supposed to be nourishing, supposed to be protecting. You know. All the good useful stuff in there and in there only so the one that I've got here is called Ichi Baby Cool um, natural sunscreen SPF 50 there are a few things I really really love about the sunscreen that I just couldn't leave it I have to add it into this year's recommendations for the babies but also for the adults if you want to use it as the name suggested it's suitable for baby having itchy skins because it is a proud supporter of Asthma Association in Australia, EAA, is SPF 50 and it's a mineral sunscreen and contains 22.5% zinc oxide and is also having a 4 hours water resistance. It's suitable for kids greater than 3 months plus, so it's for a relatively young age group. It also contains really good moisturizing ingredients here. It's got coconut oil, it's got oat oil and the consistency of this one, it is a little bit greasy because it contains all the oils but it's nothing too much. Once it sets into your face or around your body, you won't see the shine is just a nice natural glow super super moisturizing super lightweight easy to spread around the baby's face you don't have to worry you're rubbing too hard it's not a worry so I think I definitely have to mention this not for the babies also for people who is suffering asthma and you're looking for a pure mineral sunscreen this is a good option for you to try. So that is pretty much for today's video. I hope you enjoy the five type of sunscreen recommendations and the product that I mentioned in today's video. Last year I did a top five tag the sort of sunscreen video which I went similarly but slightly different categories I wanted to do it slightly different every year just to you know cover as much of aspect and I know there are varieties of ways that you can organize and to bring out the best out of the best these are the ones I'm really happy like a lot of these are the ones I'm currently using and so 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 enjoy so I really want to share with you guys so you can know if you're looking for a particular category what are the options that are out there but for the detailed individual sunscreen reviews we'll be linked down below through the playlist and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will do that 2021 sunscreen collection which I'll talk about each individual sunscreen that I purchased in the year of 2021 that I can give you guys a really thorough probably a very long but a very detailed update if you haven't watched the ones last year maybe we can start watching it now so you have an idea what I've got last year and hopefully you'll be looking forward to the one that coming up next week Anyway, that is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribe down below. I hope you have had a great day and having a really, really wonderful holiday or whenever you're watching this. I just hope you're happy or if I can bring you some happy vibes, that would be super awesome. I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye.